just dip in the salt and pepper. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hello guys, welcome back to Korean Papsang. It's summer, it's so hot out there. And you're probably tired and have low energy, right? We'll be making a dish that can help you with that. Samgyetang is an iconic summer dish that's nourishing and restorative when your body is exhausted from the heat. Samgyetang is especially popular on Sambok days, three distinct days that mark the hottest summer period. Chobok, beginning, Jungbok, middle, and Malbok the end. It's Korean tradition to eat this boiling hot soup on those days. The ginseng flavored chicken is tasty and tender, and the broth is rich and delicious. Also, the sticky rice stuffing that's infused with the chicken and ginseng flavors is to die for. Let's get started. At least one hour before cooking, soak some sweet rice. You just need a three or four tablespoons. Um, I have a lot more here and I'll show you what I do with the leftover. Samgyetang is typically made with small young chicken. Here in the US, I use Cornish hands. So I clean this nicely inside and out. Most of them should have uh, a neck bone still attached and keep that in there. You can cut out some fat in the neck area there. Remove excess fat. This one is pretty clean and, and really lean, so I am just going to use it. We're gonna stuff the chicken with the rice and we'll close the cavity with the legs crossed like this. So Koreans uh, usually make a slit between the thigh and um, the cavity opening here. This is how you cut a little opening there. See? You see my finger? Okay, now we're gonna stuff the chicken. So just a couple of tablespoons, two or three. Leave some room for the rice to expand as it cooks. And some people really, you know, stick um, all other things in there too. I just put in a couple uh, garlic cloves. Here's our ginseng. Just put these little pieces into the cavity. All right, now we're ready to close this. Find that hole we made and bring the same side leg down and bring the other one over that leg and this top one, bring that through the hole. This will keep the rice inside and, and chicken will look nice. And this wing tip, I'm gonna just fold it over underneath. Just press it down below the chicken like that. Nice and pretty. If this is too hard to do for you, just bring the legs together and just tie it with the kitchen twine. Okay, let me talk about ginseng a little bit. Ginseng is highly prized for medicinal benefits such as boosting energy and, um, and the immune system. Korean markets around here sell fresh ginseng, susam we call, in the summer for samgyetang. You can also use a dry ginseng if you cannot find fresh ginseng, but fresh ginseng is typically used for samgyetang. Also, there are samgyetang kits conveniently available at Korean markets or online. They include various dried ingredients that go into samgyetang. Okay, our chicken is ready to go into the pot. Okay, in goes my ginseng and lots of garlic is good. Two or three slices of ginger. This will help remove gamey taste of chicken. And this is techu, jujubes. Two, you can use three if uh, they're small, and some scallions. Thick ones are good for the soup. 
Remember I soaked extra sweet rice chapsa? I am going to cook chapsa in this little pouch that's used for like making anchovy broth and things. I'm going to put my rice here and then close it and just drop in here. So it will cook in the chicken broth. Okay, now all we need is our liquid to cook the chicken. You can simply use water. We need about five or six cups for this one little tiny chicken. But my little trick is use good quality chicken stock, homemade or commercially available. So I'm gonna put about, all right, I guess I'm gonna just start with a five because that's all this pot can handle. We're gonna bring it to a boil over medium high heat, uncovered. It's coming to a boil, just so I'm just removing some foam here. Now we're gonna cover and boil for about 15 minutes. Meanwhile, we're just gonna chop some scallions to use as a garnish. I know some of you are wondering what you should do if you don't have any ginseng. Fortunately, there are chicken soups you can make without ginseng. And when whole chicken is cooked with some aromatics without ginseng, it's called peg soup. I have a variation of that made in Instant Pot. Hope to try it. Also, you can try my takkom tang. It's a delicious chicken soup and it's a stovetop recipe I have on my website. Okay, 15 minutes is over. Ooh, it's really boiling nicely. Hmm. All right, now we're gonna reduce the heat to medium and boil for another uh, about 20 minutes. Okay, it, it, ooh, it's, it's done. Ooh, look at that. Here's our chicken. Here's the rice I cooked separately. I am going to use my fat separator to remove excess fat. Mmm, mmm, can you smell it? Garnish with the scallions. Notice I didn't season the soup. It's usually served unseasoned in the diner, seasoned with a salt and pepper at the table. Mmm, I love this rice. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Comes right off. Wow. Who needs chopsticks, right? When you have hands. Look at that. Just dip in the salt and pepper. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So tender. So delicious. All right, let me get to the soup part. So if you open it, There's what we stuffed. Mm. The broth is really nicely rich and thick. So, so delicious. That little tiny portion of the rice in there is never enough for me. So I really love this extra rice that's cooked in the broth. And you can just mix it with the broth and eat it like that. Mm -mm -mm. Hope to try making samgyetang this summer and beat the heat the Korean way. Thank you for watching. See you next time.